Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be a review and setup of the Arcadia Shade Dweller Pro T5 kit. We will cover things such as usability, availability, price and its benefit to our reptiles as well as what I think of its overall look. In this video I'm not going to try to convince you guys to use UV light, I've actually talked about the benefits of UVB and UVA in other videos and whether or not you should use them with albinos so I will leave those links below. And for full disclosure as you may know I do work with Arcadia to make their product videos for their channel which once again I'll link below, however my opinion is my opinion, this will not affect it and I wouldn't suggest a product if I did not think it was very good. Before we begin, shameless plug here, but I'd like to thank Evolver Reptiles on Instagram for this picture. If you'd like my merch, go check it out on the Teespring, link below. So shameless. Anyway, <laughs> um, back to the review. So let's start off with what on earth is Shade Dweller? <laughs> So Shade Dweller is an 8 watt, 7% UVB, 17% UVA lamp designed with crepuscular animals in mind, particularly leopard geckos and crested geckos, but it can also be used with a range of animals including some diurnal snakes, amphibians and inverts. Shade Dweller can be bought on its own as a replacement lamp or you can get it for free with either the Shade Dweller Mini UV kit or the Shade Dweller Pro T5 kit, which I have here. There's also a mini kit that comes with a 2.4% lamp. I've done a review of this in the past. I have used it for a long time with my geckos, but I am now gradually replacing those 2.4% lamps with Shade Dweller lamps. Currently I have Gizmo and Drogo on the Shade Dweller lamps. Gizmo's been on it for a little while now, whereas we will be setting up Drogos in this video. So now let's look up setup and usability. So the setup is really simple. Pop the lamp in the fitting, twist very carefully and plug it in. If you have more than one unit, you can actually connect them together. You can connect up to 10 units. I already do this for Ziggy and Mini with their mini kits. It is super handy because as you may know, when it comes to reptiles, you can sometimes just become overrun with electricals. Whilst setting up this unit, if you are in the UK, you may notice that the plug is an EU plug, but it does come with an adapter, so that's just how we have to use it for now, but I believe in future kits they will eventually have fixed UK plugs. Before buying any type of UV light, make sure you measure your enclosure. For example, in this case, if the tank is about 12 inches high, then you're going to want something like the 2.4% lamp. However, if your vivarium is over 12 inches high and there's a 10 to 12 inch gap between the unit and the gecko's back at basking, then use the 7% lamp. Also, whenever setting up a tank for a UV light, make sure that there are plenty of places to hide. That way your gecko can choose to either expose its whole body, part of its body, hang out near the opening of its cave, or hide away from the light completely. But we'll get into that a little bit more later. Overall, I found the setup to be quick and straightforward. Of course, if you're going to mount this inside a vivarium, it may take a little longer, but not too much, and it comes with all the screws and everything you need to do that. Usability wise it's super easy because you can just plug it into a timer so it goes on and off when you want it to and the gecko itself determines how much it exposes to the light so it really takes away that guesswork from us in terms of supplementing synthetic D3 which can be dangerous if you over or under supplement it. In terms of the overall look, personally I do prefer the black unit to the white mini kit. They're saying that when the mini kit is actually in the vivariums you really don't see it besides a white lead. I just feel that the Shade Dweller Pro T5 unit uh, looks more sleek and it fits on top of terrariums far better. Now the reflector part, you can actually take off the unit if you wish but personally I think it looks much better on and it serves a very important purpose especially on top of terrariums because it pushes that UV downwards into the tank as sometimes some UV can be lost through the wire mesh. Another thing I really like is its size. I needed to replace Drogo's UV flood unit and this particular unit took up pretty much half of the tank's like entire lid, whereas the Shade Dweller unit in my opinion is far better size wise. The only thing I wasn't a massive fan of, and this isn't unique to this product, it's just the result of having higher UVB, is it's a little bluer than I'm used to. So for example, the 2.4% is 5800 Kelvin, 
whereas a 7% is 6,000 Kelvin. It's a subtle change and when you first put the light on you notice that blue but after like a week or so of using it, it does sort of mellow out and you do definitely get used to it and as I said, it's very subtle. It's not Arcadia's fault, it's not the product's fault, it is just a result of slightly higher UVB and I'm sure if you have any reptiles that require higher than 7%, you're already totally used to this. So how does this lamp benefit our reptiles? Firstly, it is specifically designed for crepuscular reptiles such as leopard geckos and crested geckos. So that's a massive positive in my eyes because we know what we're using is definitely safe and suited for them. Another thing, like I mentioned before, is it takes away that guesswork. So for the last few years, I've been using Earth Pro A and Earth Pro CA Pro Magnesium as my supplements. They have no synthetics, so our geckos cannot be over supplemented with synthetics, which can be toxic. So UVB replaces using synthetic D3, which is a good thing as synthetic D3 can have devastating effects if over or under supplemented. By providing a UV lamp, it allows my geckos to expose as much or as little of themselves to the light as they wish. This is something they would do naturally in the wild. Even here, when Ziggy is hiding in her cave, she'll still be getting a small amount of UVB. The further it has to travel, the weaker it gets, but for Ziggy on this day, that's all she needed. One thing that can sometimes put people off of Arcadia products is they don't think they're available in their country. So let's quickly look at availability. So of course Arcadia products are available in the UK, I see them a lot in reptile shops and apparently they are also available in the rest of Europe but they're also available in the USA, Canada, Australia and even South Africa and I know I have some South African fans out there so I'm sure you'll be happy with that. I'll leave some links to online shops where you can find these products in the USA and Canada however I'm not 100% sure about everywhere else so you may have to google a bit, find some online shops, they may be available in some reptile shops I'm not 100% sure I know they are in the UK but yeah have a good look around online in terms of price we'll be looking at the price of the shade dweller pro t5 unit which I've been showing off in this video so I've been looking around I found it in the US and Canada and sort of how much it's sort of going for in the UK the unit is about 35 to 36 pounds but it does come with a free lamp if you want a replacement lamp it will cost 14 to 15 pounds the lamp needs to be replaced once a year so I can imagine if you have quite a few reptiles this could become quite pricey but I do think it's worth it. The Shade Dweller Pro unit is a little more expensive than the Shade Dweller mini kit but far far more cheaper than the UV flood that I originally got for Drogo because that set me back about £70 at the time. So it's like half the price, it takes up half the space and it's better suited for my Chihuahua so sounds pretty good to me. So overall I think this is an easy to set up, lightweight, smart looking unit with a lamp that has a lot of research behind it, making sure that it is safe and effective for some of the most common reptiles in the trade like leopard geckos and crested geckos that are usually overlooked when it comes to using UVB and UVA. The price can seem a little steep and obviously you've got to do a yearly fee of about 14 to 15 pound to get the replacement lamps, what I usually do if I'm honest is if there's a sale on, even if I don't need the lamp right now, if it's cheaper than usual, I stock up, I find that very helpful. Um, but obviously with any UV lamp it needs to be replaced yearly, that's just a given and when you have the lamp with the correct supplements it's totally worth it just for the peace of mind. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's review. If you do end up getting one of these kits for yourself, let me know how you get on. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.